I'm Jacob from Sustainably Yours, and I'm about to try something totally new to me anyway. Um, I should preface this on the front end by saying I have no idea what I'm doing here. This is not intended to be a how-to video. In fact, if anything, it's probably going to end up being a how-not-to video. But what we've got going. In my bucket, I have a... This is a deer hide that I've been saving. I would like to learn how to tan this thing, but I don't have any of the, the tools or equipment, so that's the project I'm working on. Part of what I'm going to need is going to be a fleshing knife. So, um, I have no idea what I'm doing here. But what I'm going to try to do is take a lawnmower blade and turn it into a fleshing knife. So I've got my blade here. Um, I've looked at pictures online. I've looked through. I've looked through all of the different fleshing knives on Amazon and everything. And I think this is the general shape that I want to try to get. Um, I've got places marked off where I'm going to try and cut that down. So well, let's give that a try. See how it turns out. Alright, so I don't know. To get started, I'm going to just clamp this thing down, I guess. And I've got my, uh, my Bauer angle grinder that I picked up from Harbor Freight. I haven't really used it very much. Just a couple of light jobs. So this is uh, going to be the first, I guess, test for it. Let's see how, see how it cuts. Before I get started, definitely, definitely making sure I'm going to be using all the proper safety stuff. We're going to do this the safe way, especially considering that I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm thinking I want to start by kind of following along this line. And once I get so far, I'll probably need to cut down and just go piece by piece. I don't know. Let's find out. well followed my line on this side over here ah uh, yeah over on this side I cut a little piece off here that I should have kept yeah I got a little happy I guess I think we can fix that though I'll probably just grind this down and round it out a little bit cut this a little thin on this side as well I think we can fix that too. This will be the handle anyway. I'm planning on putting something on right here, PVC or something like that. So that'll be okay. All right, I'm gonna flip this upside down. Get started on the other side. 
try to follow things a little better this time. So I think at this point, if I, if I cut this as I have it drawn, and then when I get over to this side, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this alone. So we'll kind of uh, probably come in here and then follow that line up, or try to try to. I don't know. I'm not too good at this. I did go ahead and uh, I swapped out my my wheel. <laughs> that one's about too small. So. Here's what it looks like so far. The bottom side I did okay on. It needs a little reshaping, I think, like right here. Mostly just because I don't like the fact that it's not uh, symmetrical. The top, okay, so my plan for this overall, I want this to have um, a cutting edge on the top and the bottom here. Um, it's going to be single bevel, so I'm going to come back in and I guess on the bottom side here, we'll grind it down kind of at an angle this way so that my sharp point is on top here and that will allow me to kind of steer this as I scrape hides with it. On the back side, I would like to have another blade that I could pull with. Um, one of these will be sharper than the other. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have either blade super sharp because I don't know what I'm doing, and that's the probably the biggest mistake you can make with a hide is tearing a hole in it or cutting a hole in it. But I'm not particularly happy with this top portion. Um, I think what I'll want to do is come in and maybe. Maybe on this side, I'm going to take a little bit off with a, uh, just with a grinder. I'm going to grind it off rather than cut it with the cutting wheel. I think on this side, I need to cut this little hump right here. So we'll cut that off. And that will give me that, that rounded top edge that I'm looking for. Well, I think I've done all I'm going to do with this thing on the, as far as grinding and sharpening and stuff. Not very good at it. It seems like the more I try to sharpen... Hey, kitty. Why don't you get out of here? You're in my way. But it seems like the more I try to sharpen a, a blade, the, the duller it gets. So, I think we're good enough. Let's see. That's the, the convex edge. Quick, kitty. I think that's going to be sharp enough to to move some some fat anyway off of a off of a hide. So that'll do there. I'm afraid if I keep messing with it, I'm just going to ruin the whole thing. Kitty, kitty, you're ruining this whole thing. You're more like a dog than a cat. So now I'm going to start looking at putting some handles on. I think I would like my handles to come up to about right here, uh, these notches that I left in. So somewhere, maybe right before, I think that would make a good handle right there. And what I think I want to use is some PVC, like this right here. So I'll put it to about there. And then get some kind of epoxy or something and just uh, glue it on there. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> 